Welcome to this uh, Clarin Cafe, How Not to Spill Coffee on Your Tapes, Best Practices for Preserving Oral Archives. Uh, I am Francesca Frontini uh, from uh, the Institute of Computational Linguistics uh, in Pisa and uh, from Clarin Eric. And uh, uh, I welcome you to this, uh, to this uh, uh, February installment of our uh, Clarin Cafe series. Uh, just a few words for those who do, who, of you who are new to this uh, concept. A Clarin Cafe is an informal interactive space for discussion where researchers, lecturers, students and experts can meet to share experiences and insights that have a potential relevance for the activities and developments within the context of the Clarin universe. Uh, this cafe is also co-organized uh, in conjunction with the Shock Project which aims at building the uh, social sciences and humanities uh, uh, open cloud in Europe. And Monica uh, will later tell you a little bit more about it. So um, today's organization of the cafe was, uh, um, so we, uh, was uh, uh, done by Silvia Calamai, Associate Professor of Linguistics and Social Linguistics at the Department of Education, Human Sciences and Inter Intercultural Communication at the University of Siena as well as one of the uh, early members of the Clarin Italy Consortium and uh, a colleague and a friend, <laughs> and Veronique Ginoves, uh, a research engineer at CNRS who is in charge of the uh, Clarin France uh, uh, Phonotech at the Maison Méditerranéenne des Chances de l'Homme in Aix-en-Provence. And you can find here uh, a couple of references if you want to know more, more about it. By the way, uh, the slides of this presentation with all the relevant links will also be made available. Uh, so uh, do not worry about not being able to cop copy the URLs uh, too quickly. So uh, the plan is very simple. Uh, I will say a few words about Clarin, then I will hand over to Monica Monacchini, uh, national coordinator of Clarinit to say a few words about the shock project and then the cafe <laughs> proper will begin with uh, Silvia and Veronique's uh, presentations. And uh, more specifically, there will be um, a ample, uh, as it is typical for the Clarin Cafes, ample time for discussion, for questions, for, uh, for uh, uh, interacting with each other. And uh, then I will just say a few words for closing and that uh, will be it. Just a few words about uh, Clarin Eric. So Clarin is the common language resources and technology infrastructure. It is, uh, uh, an, er it is an Eric, so it has uh, the status, status of a legal entity uh, and it provides uh, uh, easy and sustainable access for scholars in the humanities and social sciences and beyond to digital language data in written, spoken, video or multimodal form and as well as advanced tools to discover, explore, exploit, annotate, analyze, or combine them wherever they are located through a single sign-on environment that serves as an ecosystem for knowledge sharing. And Clarin is also ready for integration in the EOSC and is also collaborating to its uh, creation, the European Open Science Cloud. Clarin today is a distributed uh, infrastructure uh, of uh, uh, 21 members, full members, and three observers, member states, and over 50 centers. Most of them are data centers. It is then, first and foremost, uh, a technical infrastructure uh, where uh, the uh, metadata from uh, the resources deposited in all these uh, uh, clearing centers are uh, harvested indexed and made available uh, in one single access point, the virtual language observatory, and can also be processed with a plethora of services, tools, uh, and analyzed, uh, which are collected uh, within the language resources switchboard. And uh, you can also take a look at these two uh, resources in the Clarin portal. This, of course, aims to build an ecosystem of fair uh, linguistic data that are therefore findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. Clarin is also a knowledge uh, infrastructure 
uh, which uh, offers uh, access to uh, specialized knowledge via a network of knowledge centers, video lectures, um, workshops, but also foster uh, collaboration via mobility grants and other funding opportunities, and also offers training uh, opportunities. In particular, Clarin fosters the collaboration also with the, in, within thematic groups, and I encourage you to check, check uh, this page where you can find more um, uh, information about the activities of Clarin for oral history, which is a topic relevant for today's uh, uh, cafe.